Aviation's contribution to climate change is not only due to the release of carbon dioxide emissions. Aircraft operations also influence the climate when condensation trails or contrails are formed. Contrails are the linear cloud formations that appear behind an aircraft and are visible on a clear day. These clouds alter the levels of absorption and reflection of solar radiation and therefore influence the warming and cooling of the planet. Aircraft condensation trails form when the relatively warm engine exhaust, which contains water vapor and particles, is released into the cold ambient atmosphere, causing the vapor to condense into water droplets on the particles. The condensed water droplets freeze if the temperature is cold enough. These contrails may evaporate within a matter of minutes, or they may persist for several hours and spread to form cirrus clouds. When contrails and cirrus clouds are present during the day, they reflect some of the incoming shortwave solar radiation back into space and thereby help to cool the atmosphere. However, contrails also trap outgoing longwave radiation emitted from the Earth's surface, causing the atmosphere to become warmer. The net radiative impact of contrails is measured in terms of the radiative forcing metric, and it is widely accepted that there is a net warming impact of contrails. This chart shows the estimated global annual mean radiative forcing from aircraft-induced clouds from several studies using computer models and observations. For persistent contrails shown on the left-hand side of the chart, recent studies suggest a radiative forcing value between 4 and 16 milliwatts per square meter of contrail. When including the impact of contrails which have evolved into cirrus cloud, the right-hand side of this chart shows estimates of radiative forcing between 12 and 86 milliwatts per square meter of cloud. The large variations in radiative forcing estimates occurs because the science of contrails is not very well understood. Net radiative forcing is strongly influenced by the physical characteristics of contrails. These characteristics depend on the following variables. The amount of water vapor and particles present in the atmosphere occurring naturally or added by the jet engine exhaust. The temperature, humidity and pressure of the ambient atmosphere. The wind and turbulence characteristics of the atmosphere. The wingspan and size of the aircraft. The propulsive efficiency of the jet engines and the type and blend of fuel used to power the jet engines. All these factors determine the size and shape of ice crystals present in the contrails, the width and depth of contrails, the evolution of the contrail dimensions over time, and the lifespan of the contrails. <laughs>